Hey guys, it's um, Jim from AccurateForexTrader.com. Uh, this is just a follow-up on the um, original SAR trading on the four-hour charts. I did have one inquiry on the forum. Thanks very much, guys. About uh, if I can show an example of a sideways market. So I've just picked. I'll quickly go through this. I've um, got the Great British Pound Australian Dollar four-hour chart. Uh, we'll assume that we start on the left on this nice big downtrend that's not the purpose of this video but it's just a good place to start because then we've got this sideways action so I'll just give it a run through here and just give it a bit of a commentary so basically what we've got the red line just to refresh your memory that's a stop and reverse so that's where our stop point is at the moment our blue line is our entry point and our four yellow lines are, are our working lines so what we've had here on the left of the chart we've had the entry there I've just set up the lines already. We've came come down to this low here. Um, price goes out, then comes back in. All right. See how? Wait, I'll just put a um, trend line on there because there's a low. That's how I normally just draw it. If I want to have a visual, price has come back into those four lines on the other on the other side of the trend line there. So what I would have done is move my start SAR down to there which would have locked in and approximately 88 points all right so if I was looking at my 200 thing I don't think that would have quite gotten 200 no 174 so it's locked in 84 points all right now, as you can see price does go down then it bounces back and takes my SAR out all right so I'll just get rid of that trend line there so what we do is we move that yellow to the top of the that one, move the red line down to the bottom, and move the blue line to the point of entry. So basically these three other lines are not in play at the moment. So they're all out of play. So there's our risk from the red line to the blue line. And as you can tell, that's as far as it goes and where we get that reversal. So we just won 80 odd pips and we just lost 80 odd pips much of a muchness. So it breaks down through here. So bring the yellow line down to there. Red line goes to where the previous high was. Blue line goes to the point of entry. So we start using these yellow lines again. Start using these yellow lines. Now we've got all four yellow lines in play. So what we're looking for is a break out and back in. Again, probably an easy way to show this there's a break there just go across the bottoms roughly price goes up above the yellow lines and comes back in through that trend line that's the probably easiest way to show the example so red line SAR comes down so now we're on a no lose it's just a small profit there yellow lines continue down with the new lows remember they just leapfrog each other um, and we can see what happens because we can see the right hand side of the chart bang up she goes all right so now we're going back to the long side so look for the candle that broke top of the candle that broke the red line which is that one move the red down the bottom entry point there so there's our risk from the red to the blue line there's another high just there another high Another high. Now all four yellow lines are in play. Another high there. Price is pulling back but it hasn't pulled back enough yet. Another high there. So as you can see we've got the, the red, blue and there's our four working line. Now price has pulled right back. We well, definitely wouldn't have got 200 pips there, 112. Uh, Price has come up here, it's pulled back and it's gone back up into the yellow lines. Again, I'll draw a trend line just to make it easier because we're going from the other way now. So you can see prices below, then come back up on the other side of that trend line and into those. I could just eyeball it, I don't need these trend lines, it just makes life easier. So up comes the red line to that low there, and we continue doing the higher highs. Another one, leapfrog. Now, see here, this is another one. I'll just bring up my trend line. Oop. Price has come up. 
drop below the bottom yellow line, so the working area, then gone back up. So my stop and reverse would be up to there. So we're locking that little bit of profit there, right? So what's that? Ooh, nearly 65 pips. So we get no new high, basically a double top there on the four hour, and price reverses and comes down. So we start again. Down to that low, up to that high, and our point of entry is there. Uh, new low there, new low there. Still haven't got, disregard all these ones that are going above the top yellow line because we haven't got all four yellow lines in play yet. New low there. Alright, now we've got all four in play. New low there. Now see how price comes up and goes down. Just do my trend line again. This is just roughly this trend line. Don't, don't get too concerned about the bottoms or anything. Just gives, just a, gives you a better idea. And price price goes over, out, and back in on the other side of the trend line and then there. So lock in. Oh, we're hardly locking in anything there, but we're not going to lose anything. Um, there's all those R's again. So there we go, there's a new low, and bang, off she goes. So back we go again. There. Point of entry. Let's get these yellow lines happening, because we're going to the upside now. Still going. Now we've got all four yellow lines in play. Uh, well, let's have a look. So we've got four, bang, here we go, see? Another pullback out of the yellow lines. Comes down below the yellow lines on the pullback. All four yellow lines from play. Then back into the yellow lines, the other side of that trend line. As I say, the trend line's not necessary. It just gives you a better idea. Move the stop and reverse up. So we've reduced the risk substantially. Off we go again. Off we go again. Four pop. Yep. All right, here we go. This little spike down and back in, I would be moving it up there. I like to reduce the risk as quickly as possible and just lo lock a little bit of profit in. It's only 30 odd pips, but yeah. There, there, on that double top. And as you can see, we come down. So that's that done and dusted. There's the break, move the red line up, move the blue line up to there. Let's get these yellow lines back in play. So I've only got two yellow lines in play, these two aren't in play yet, so we'll just keep them out the way. And price does go up and down. See, on my previous way I used to trade this, I would just move my SAR down to this top here. Because uh, I was very aggressive trying to lock in, reduce risk as quick as possible. But this system, I'm just going to try and stick with the proper rules. So we've got a new one there. New low there. Now all four lines from play. New one there, new one there. Now you can see it's gone out, 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 then up. And as you can see again, draw my trend line out, then back into those yellow lines. So SAR, down there. Reduce risk. Ah, uh, now it's gone back down in here, and comes screaming out without much of a chance. So we start from scratch again, now we're long to the top of that candle, that's the one that broke the red. Bring that one down to the low there. Entry point is across there. And off we go. Um, so once we bring this one up, we've got all four in play. And it's just a matter of running this trend up here. So, that's video, what's that, nine minutes and 20 seconds. So look, that's a bit of a sideways market. It was probably a pretty good one, and I, I just I didn't pre-prepare this. I had no idea what it was going to be like, but it actually turned out pretty good uh, because there was nice pullbacks throughout there that we could move our SAR. Either we had one losing trade, I think it was about 88 pips there after a winning trade on the way down. So we got through that mess there. Uh, what's that over from about the 2nd of November to the middle of nearly mid-December, so it's nearly a month and a half, oh, about five weeks through there, 
and we come through pretty unscathed, considered it's a pretty sideways mark with a total range of about 260 pips. So that's not too bad. Uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of what happens in a sideways market and what I'll do is I will make an effort and try and find a, a more of an ugly chart that's got some major issues that will give a better example of losing sequences. Okay, thanks very much guys.